Welcome back to Grouse 4x4. Today we're just going on a day trip down to Yarwell. We're not going to do mint bush or monkey gum. You'll understand in a minute why when I turn this around and show you. We left home this morning and actually we've had 40 mil of rain at home and Yarwell has received 110 today. It's cleared up now. Um, from here on out, it's not meant to rain much more. We might get a little spit here and there, so that's why we've come down. But as you can see, we've got the 80 and we've also got the 79. So give you a little look here. This is just normally a road. And then we've got our lake crossing, I'm gonna call it now. Now I've got to walk through the flood to try get back to my car. Look at it. Pretty straightforward. I do know there's a hole in that and it's normally pretty solid. So I'm just gonna walk my way up to my car. I wore my boots today for a reason too because I knew it was gonna be horrible. All right, let's get on going. We're literally, oh, another couple hundred meters up the road. This one's normally pretty dry. It's along the power lines, as you probably see above me there, you'll see a couple power lines. But as you can see, that sand is a bit softer than I'd like to hope. I know there's a couple big horrible lines over there because it's all mud, this middle bit's sand. So, like, yeah, I reckon once we break this surface, once we break this surface, it's gonna be a bit horrible, I think. So, um, we're just gonna fall low, get in. I might even twin lock it just to be safe and just send it, I nearly just lost a foot. Yep, so we're bogged, proper bogged too, it's like quicksand too. So Gemma's gotta go, she's gonna go back out around to the road, back through, just because I am stuck and I don't have a rear recovery point now, which is something we'll probably look at getting. But yeah, there's a nice hard bit here, but we don't wanna risk two cars being bogged in the same hole, that would be horrible. So I'm gonna start undoing my winch on the front while Gemma walk, drives back around to the road. And off she goes. Bye. This is the whole reason we've been driving two cars because oh, lost a foot. It's just better than driving one. I got no idea what's in front of me. Oh, bro, there's a turtle in here. Ah! There's literally a turtle just there. He's looking at my feet. Don't bite me. So I'm just standing here on me bull bar, waiting for Gemma to come back so I can just get her to throw me, throw me a strap. Yeah, just give me a little pull, I reckon I only need a little pull to get up and through this. And just waiting for a mate. Lovely. But we're pretty bogged. Luckily, it's just below my door. Here she comes, I don't know if you can see her in the distance or not. It didn't take too long. Literally, it's been like four minutes, five minutes for her to go back up and around, come back around to here. But um, yeah, this sand, soft. I had a funny feeling it was gonna be that soft. My savior. Here she comes. So yesterday we went for a little run out to Cotter just to get the cars out and about. And uh, Gemma had a few problems. Um, slippery as hell, same thing, it was raining. And she went to brake, slid, sort of went into a little ditch. That's a big hole. Um, lost the spare wheel, spare wheel come flying off. Had to go back and find it in the bush. There it is. Well, at least it came off out here. God damn it, the whole bracket snapped. Oh Jesus. Today seems like it's my day, second or first obstacle and I'm bogged, so. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so we're out. We'll just spool this winch in and get on to the next bit, eh? The next bog hole, because there's gonna be millions of them. I 
Maybe it's just my driving skills today. That seemed pretty easy for Gemma, but I felt a little bit harder for myself, so. Gemma reckon she's gonna do it in high range. We'll see, we'll see about that. And after you get a lot of rain here, it literally, it's like quicksand. It's ridiculous, take that top layer off and there's just so much water around as you would expect, but everyone's gonna be sitting there going, oh, you're ruining the tracks. Everyone's gonna get it closed. They're gonna put gates on it. What's the point knowing on a four wheel drive if I can't get out and drive around in the bush? Rain, hail, I'll shine. I have my free time when I'm not working because I work every day of the week. I'm going to get out and do what I can if I have free time. I'm not just going to sit at home. So we're out here. We're doing it. Let's set this up and see how we go. Oh, old lead foot today. Old Sandy over here. Thinks she's got the big V8 with all the power. Jesus. Put me to shame. Not good, not good. So here's a little bit of what to expect on the power line tracks around Yarwal. Basically, it's just a whole lot of rock steps. So I've pretty much done the three power lines consecutive sections. I've done this one a few times. I was just checking it out, making sure it wasn't super soft because I know it's sand at the bottom. There's a few hard spots, so it's not too bad. I um. Didn't take a horrible line, but I smashed my rebar up here. It's still on, so that's good. Gemma's just starting to come down now. She just waited at the top while I um, did it. There's heaps of water running down it, but it's not too bad. Hopefully traction-wise getting up. The rock step up the end here is actually a pretty decent little rock step. There's two ways to go about it. Worst case, we turn around and come back up it. Doesn't hurt. This is the hole I took where the rebar went and hurt. Very slow. How'd you get stuck there? Stuck nah, your radius arms and stuff. Put your locker in. Front one. Try it. Yep, there you go. It's nice and slow. Because it, it, my rebar smacks when I come down that. There goes down the bar. So yeah, you can see the diff pumpkin. Got the smash stand. Get it down this bit here. This is probably the most off camber bit you get on this. Move down to the next section. I'm running around with no shoes or anything going out here because. First bog hole I decided to go down. So, shoes are no fun for me. That's it, we'll get the camera set up for this next section, eh? Well, here we are, we're at the proper rock step. Um, that's it there. Oh, that is so soft. That is so, so soft. I'm losing feet. You just gotta pick the right line here when you get up. You sorta of gotta get up and shoot a different direction. Lost a foot. I just walked there and lost a foot. You're gonna lose more, go further, further. Oh no, 
Then we just lost the shoe. This part of the track is a really interesting one. There is one bigger rock step in the middle. If you don't feel confident to do the big rock step, you can go to the left and go up the double. So yeah, there you go. It's a nice little step. It just requires a little bit of commitment. There's heaps of traction there. When you get up, you gotta watch, there's a hole. So if you go too quick, you hit the hole and bounce around. It's like a get up, sort of hit the brakes to it, slow yourself down to assess. You just need a little bit of sandy, but a lot of traction on it, which is good. We're gonna send Gemma up this one over here. So this is the other line. Still a, a decent step. You got step on step, so it's sort of double step. Jesus, nice easy work that one. He's crawled up through it all. Twin lock would be heaps better, but single lock, so that's all we can do. Doing another little rock garden thing, I'll give you a spin around. You can see all the nice little steps here. There's quite a few of them. But um, we'll set this camera here, we'll do the first step. Second step, there's like four or five up through here. I'm gonna set this up somewhere here. And get a good view of it. just down from those rock steps that we're at. Look how big this is. You would not want to fall in here. Okay. Ooh, she's washed out. Yeah. Right now we're gonna point Gemma up it. Oh yeah, Jesus. We're gonna point Gemma up it now. I'm halfway up. Um, point Gemma up, get her sorted to the next section. I'll get up a bit further. Just so we're not too far from each other. I don't want to be leaving cars unattended for no reason. Yeah, so we got one more step in front of us. And just an FYI, these steps, like comparison size, I'm going to say like, not quite the height of a 35, but close enough. And a lot of them are undercut. Like, I'll give you this one here because I'll try to drive this one too. But like, they're sort of undercut and you can see where people have dug out holes. So this will pick the right line. So we'll get that shot and then we'll get this one. That'll be pretty much it for the trip.
old crawly boy modes over here. Not bad, not bad. A good couple of steps here. And that's it guys, we're up. There's a patrol coming down, so we'll have a quick look at him, but I don't think I'll put him in the video. Hope you enjoyed it, nice little power line run. Remember like, comment, subscribe. I get back to everyone. Pretty friendly person, I reckon. Let me know if you enjoyed it and I'll keep doing these.